whether gardening on a balcony, a small city lot, or a large expanse of land, you can add pollinator-friendly plants to your landscape. In fact, you might be surprised to find you already have a few like purple coneflower, New England aster, and bee balm already growing in your garden. These and other native plants are the most effective at attracting and supporting the pollinators we depend upon for about one-third of the food we eat, as well as plant-based fibers, edible oils, medicines, and many other products. Native plants also improve our environment by helping to keep water where it falls. This reduces the risk of flooding, basement backups, and water entering our storm sewers, helping to protect our waterways. Their deep roots create pathways for rainfall to infiltrate the soil surface, so it can travel down to the groundwater, helping remove impurities along the way. You'll spend less time maintaining native plants once they're established, and many are drought tolerant, requiring less watering once they develop their deep root system. You won't have to mow or fertilize as often, and seldom, if ever, will need to use pesticides. This means you'll be saving time and money while being kind to the environment. Just like any garden addition, prepare the soil before planting to give your plants a healthy start. Add several inches of compost to the top 8 to 12 inches of soil and incorporate melorganite. This low nitrogen, slow release fertilizer contains 85% organic matter to feed the soil and plants. Then fertilize in early spring if needed. Consider starting small by adding native plants to your existing gardens. As a plant needs replacing or you start a new garden, look for a native plant that thrives in the growing conditions and is the right size and bloom time for your garden design. When selecting any plant, including natives, check the tag and see how fast the plant will spread. Some grow in clumps and gradually spread outward, making them easy to add to any garden. Others spread by seeds, creating more plants each year, providing seedlings to share or fill additional garden spaces. Then there are those that spread by underground stems called rhizomes that expand in multiple directions and require a bit more effort to contain. And some of the more vigorous plants spread by several of these methods. Once you experience the beauty and benefits of native plants, you'll be looking for more opportunities to add them to your landscape. The next step may be a garden filled with only native plants. Design a garden of native plants just like you would any flower garden. Consider color, texture, mature size, and bloom time. Include a variety of native plants so your garden will be filled with blossoms, butterflies, and other pollinators throughout the growing season. Look for those with seed heads that attract birds in the winter and provide texture, movement, and homes for pollinators in the winter landscape. Look to nature for winning combinations. Reduce ongoing maintenance and increase the beauty with a more relaxed design. Create informal garden beds with gently curved borders and allow plants to intermingle in a more casual design. As you discover the beauty and benefits of native plants, consider going all out. Convert a large portion of your whole yard into a natural garden that mimics nature's spaces. Include signs of civilization to let people know it's an intentional design. Maintain a mower-wide strip of grass surrounding the natural planting. Add a few birdhouses or bird baths or a bit of fencing to let neighbors know this is a purposeful space. So consider adding a few or more native plants to your landscape. You'll help reduce polluted stormwater runoff, create a healthier environment, and grow beautiful gardens for you, the pollinators, and birds to enjoy. And you just might inspire a few neighbors to do the same.